What's up everybody? How you guys doing? Didn't know if I was going to film another video in this batch, but I said I uh, might as well do another one. And then um, afterwards I'll show you how much hot sauce I really have to review. <laughs> it's, it's a lot. <clears throat> but anyway, I bought this on Amazon, I don't know how long ago. Probably at least seven, eight months I would say. But um, This is from Surasang. I believe distributed by Wang Global Net made in South Korea it is Sir Sang's kimchi hot sauce it's pretty cool I found this on Amazon I think I paid like eight bucks for it nine bucks for it and uh yeah we're gonna uh we're gonna give it a try I think it's kind of cool how it has this side is for Canadian consumers this side here is for Australian consumers, and this side here is for U.S. consumers. Pretty cool. But anyway, uh, there's really no read-up or anything, so we're just going to um, read the ingredients here. 108 first. It says here first. It says, let me read you guys that. All right. It's a serving direction for better taste. Enjoy with steak, pizza, fried chicken, burger, taco, fried rice, etc. I was definitely thinking fried rice. <clears throat> but here's the ingredients. It is kimchi extract, which consists of water, napa cabbage, salt, radish, wheat, red pepper powder, anchovy, garlic, xanthan gum, shrimp, onion, sugar, ginger, and green onion. Then there's red pepper powder, vinegar, salt, xanthan gum, sodium alginate, oleo resin paprika, water, oleo resin capsicum, kimchi flavor, garlic, which is garlic, ginger, and mustard, and herb extract. Contains wheat, anchovies, shrimp, and mustard. So, I'm pretty sure you can still get this on Amazon. I think I saw it on there a few weeks ago. Um, well, we're going to uh, hopefully get this open. Remember, always use your official Johnny Scoville Chase the Heat Smooth to Taste. But I'm going to use a, my other older Mother of Pearl Spoon, Amazon, uh, to open the seal. you got to be careful because it's all one piece all the way down the bottom. I don't know if you can actually see that. This is all, the whole label and everything's one piece, so... I don't want to rip it up because, like I say, I want to keep almost every hot sauce bottle I get where I'm going to put them. Don't ask me because I don't know. But uh, you might just give me a plastic tote and just put them in there. And that's what I'm doing now, but I mean, I don't know where I keep them. Um, until I use the hot sauces I have, then I could put them on the shelf probably. But anyway. If I get this open, I will try it. All right, there we go. Give it a good shaky shake for Silas. All right, there's a seal under here too. Sorry, folks. Usually, I'm almost done with the review by now. There we go. There we go. I love reviewing sauces that I've never seen anybody else review before. Okay, no. Okay, you definitely get obviously the hot sauce smell, but um, get my spoon here. You can smell. Where's the American? Where's the American? Almost dropped the bottle. Where's the American version? And it's glass. Let me try to pick that up. You smell the onion powder. I don't know. I guess the kimchi. Uh, it's really hard to tell. I'm just gonna pour it and try it. So I got to be real careful here. It does kind of have like a built-in. Flow restrictor in the cap. So we're gonna see. Oh, okay, it's a little on the liquidy side, a little on the thin side, but that's all right. Kind of consistency of regular hot sauce. But uh, here we go. From servicing their kimchi hot sauce. Very interesting. Here we go. Hmm. Now that's a unique flavor. Definitely get the, the heat a little bit. Uh, 
you get a little bit of the heat first. Um, I guess it would be the red pepper powder, I guess. I don't know exactly what peppers they used in this. Mm. Okay, you can actually taste the shrimp. That's, um, that's insane. Like, that's just insane. Wow. That's really good. Uh, I, I figured it would be, but that exceeds my expectations there. Wow. That's really a really good sauce. I guess you can see it's on the thinner side, but yeah, definitely shrimp fried rice, chicken fried rice, pork fried rice, whatever fried rice you eat. Maybe it's a dip for egg rolls or dumplings. Uh, I could see this being very versatile for a lot of stuff. Um, it's good. Uh, the heat, <clears throat> about a one and a half. The flavor, though, man, I, I think I got to go, let me go nine and a half out of ten. <clears throat> I mean, it takes a lot to get a perfect rating, but nine and a half, I, I don't know what else you could do to make this any better. Sir is saying you, you do a heck of a job, man. This is delicious sauce. Excuse me. And it's a 7.7 .7 ounce bottle, too. So for eight, nine bucks, a lot of times you pay that for five ounce. Excuse me. For five ounce bottles, but um Yeah, it's good. I definitely say find it on Amazon if you can again and give it a try. There it is. Sir is saying kimchi hot sauce. That is delicious. Definitely give that a try. So, <clears throat> coming to the end of another review. And now, hopefully I can do this without shaking the camera too much. Try to close the legs on the tripod. So I can turn the camera around. Sorry. And show you all the hot sauces that I have to review. And it's a lot, so. And I just keep buying more and more. I'm actually waiting for a package right now for hot sauces from Puerto Rico. I believe they're coming in Monday. I hope they were supposed to be here yesterday, which is which was Saturday, and uh, they didn't. But <clears throat> here we go. <clears throat>